What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Travis here from popbinders.com and iskingdom.com with the weekly podcast. On this week's show, we're going to be talking about a number of the new uh, Funko products that have been announced this week, including Cars 3. We've also got Alias. We have also got Alien, Despicable Me, and a couple of other bits and pieces. So let's jump into it. First off, let's talk about the brand new Justice League ones. These look really cool. Obviously, the movie's coming out um, later on, but this this set is, again, just a really cool looking um, one. So these, we've got some glam shots, which the movie's coming out in November 17th, 2017, so therefore the pops are probably going to be out probably a little bit before that. So we've got some official images here. So we've also got Batman there. We've also got Aquaman, Wonder Woman, uh, Cyborg, The Flash, and Superman, kind of in his pose there with fists on the ground cool looking set i am actually kind of looking forward to seeing what they do with this um the movie i think it's looking rather great in terms of batman versus superman wasn't as bad as i was expecting um but i'm really wondering to see what they're going to be doing with wonder woman but i do like the look of these pops again you know dc's heroes you can't really go too wrong with them iconic and while the batman one maybe is not the strongest one it might make a little bit more sense when we see the movie Okay, up next we're going to be talking about some new Alias Glam Shots which have come out um, for some brand new pops. Now, um, I haven't really seen this show for quite a while. Um, obviously Jennifer Garner has been very popular, but they're going to be bringing this new series out. So this one is, we've got her in, so we've got um, Sydney Brimstone like in a blue outfit. We've also got her with like blue hair cut short. And then we've also got her in like sort of almost like a, a schoolgirl uniform with like black hair. And then we've also got her with red hair with leather trousers. So all different outfits depending on which one you want to be watch, um, sort of into her. They're going to be coming this summer. Um, interesting to see what they're doing this one. Like I said, I think it really depends on how much fan you are of that series. And that's the big thing. So let's move now on to some Cars Pops. So we've seen some Cars ones in the past. Um, Let's just be honest, I think they look really cool. This was one of the ones I did pick up. Though, let's be honest, they're not too different some of the new ones that are coming on. Cars 3 is coming to cinemas in June. And also, we've got it coming out um, a little bit different in different areas and stuff. But the new um, figures, they're going to be coming in June as well. So we have got um, Bronco 51. So that's Cruz Ramirez in like yellow one. Then we've got um, Lightning McQueen, which um, I can't see too much of a difference. I'm guessing there will be a few slight variations and stuff. We're also going to have a, uh, a Luigi and Guido exclusive going to Walmart. I do love them. I do think these look really great. There's also a Chrome Lightning McQueen only available at Target. And then there's also a Grey Lightning McQueen at my gear and they're going to be coming to stores in may i'm sorry if i butchered that one not a store i'm too familiar with over here again great looking ones love that um luigi and guido one i think this i think just as a general i think these actually do work really well when you see them they're obviously a little bit more like toys and stuff a bit bigger but they're definitely great ones for me i, I actually have it right here on the desk next to me but let's hear what um travis had to say on this set well i had a toy event earlier this week in new york city they released official images and products for Cars 3 items, and I was wondering if Funko would get involved, and I'm happy th to say they did. Uh, you can see Cruz there, Cruz Ramirez, uh, New Lightning McQueen, as well as Walmart exclusive Luigi and Guido, and then a special Chrome Lightning McQueen from Target. You got a gray Lightning McQueen, special color for Lightning from Cars 3, from Mayer, Mayer. I am not a fan of companies where I can't even pronounce the store, let alone know where one is near me. So the Target one, if I don't get, great. The Walmart ones, I might eventually get. I'm going to look for them. They're awesome. The other two regular releases, I'll probably add to my collection. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the movie coming out in June and looking forward to adding these pops to my collection. Okay, up next, let's talk about some of their brand new Alien um, figures. This week saw the um, Alien... Uh, day take place obviously we have all these different kind of days now and obviously the movie is coming out soon so let's have a look here at these new designs so these are going to be um, available in June from the new Alien Covenant movie so we've got the Exomorph um, kind of funky not too sure about kind of the blue gear on his body but the head does look rather good hopefully it doesn't topple over too much we've also got a David figure so he's in his kind of expedition gear and got like a little camera on his shoulder and a little hat and stuff we've also got a daniel so she's got her um machine gun there's also going to be a bloody exomorph coming to you um, gamestop 
And then there's also going to be a Oram with Face Hugger going to Hot Topic. Again, as with most of these kind of um, sets, they make a lot more sense once you've actually seen the movie. Now again, I think the sort of the Exomorph figures are probably going to be the most popular. Because obviously anything kind of alien connected generally is a little bit better and different than all the humans. Personally, for me, I do like the look of that one. I personally prefer the um, the GameStop one with all like the blood and stuff on it. it. Just It just looks a little bit cooler. But let's hear what Travis had to say on these. I'm loving the expansion of the alien line to include new pop vinyls. Uh, the Xenomorph and then the GameStop exclusive Xenomorph look great. I especially like Orem with the face hugger, which is the Hot Topic exclusive. Overall, it looks like a great expansion to the line, and can't wait to add some of these to my collection. Okay, up next, let's talk about the new Despicable Me ones. Um, Funko have revealed which are going to be the um, retailer exclusive. So these ones, again, are um, going to be coming out around the same time as the movie. Um, I am a big fan of Despicable Me, so anything to do with these guys is cool. So first off, we have got Best Buy is going to be getting the tourist uh, Jerry, I love the hat, I love the gear, I love the fanny pack, I love, like, the... It just, it just looks really cool, I do love that one. Um, we've also got a fluffy one, which is going to be um, available at Canals, or Nose, whichever you want to pronounce that one. And um, we've got, um, FYE have got the Taurus Dave and the Taurus Jerry one, so again, great. Um, kind of interesting how they kind of tied them over, again, coming out in June. Um, Jail Time Mel will also be available at Target. Um, Toys R Us are going to have the Lucky variant, and he's going to be out in May. And we've also got the Mel with the I Heart Groove Cap available at Walmart. I do think that one there's as a Dorbs is rather cool. Again, coming out in May. And there's also going to be a triple uh, pack of Dorbs featuring Fluffy Angus oh, and also Lucky and Fluffy. So we've got the three of them in there. And there's also going to be some special pint-sized heroes of Despicable Me, so um, Target are going to have some, and also um, Toys R Us, so they're all going to have some different variant figures, so if you're into the minions, you'll want to check them all out, whether or not you want to pick up all of them, that's totally down to your choice, but some great ones that I do love that tourist one, and I think just in general, anything with minions on is rather cool, I'd love to know your thoughts, you can always get in touch with us on all the different social medias and stuff, so let's hear what um, Travis had to say about this lot. Given the popularity of the Minions and the Despicable Me lines, I am not surprised of all these retailer exclusives. I am not a fan of retail exclusives, if you don't know this by now. Um, for example, Kohl's. My Kohl's never gets pops in, let alone flocked pops. I don't have an FYI near me, so this pops movie Dave and Jerry 2-pack, the tourist Dave and Jerry, I'm never going to see. Target, my Target gets hit up by scalpers all the time. Toys R Us might be the only one, maybe Walmart, eventually, that I will see any of these at. Um, I do really like the designs of some of these items, especially Lucky the Goat. Can't wait to see what he plays in the films. And uh, I work on a campground that's also a working farm, so goats are fun. Um, also, the pot, Pine Size Heroes exclusive assortments look interesting we shall see how uh, crazy people get with those all in all good move by Funko to do retail exclusives though I am not a fan Okay, up next we have got some pops for a brand new movie, which I am going to be honest, I have heard very, very little about, no, very little one. It's um, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Um, so this movie is going to be coming out on July um, 21st. Um, it is about special operatives and working together to maintain um, order throughout the human territories under the assignment of the Ministry of Defense due embarks on a mission to Alpha, an ever-expanding metropolis where different species gather to share knowledge and culture. So there's going to be some different movie ones in here. You've got, um, obviously, Valoran, or however you want to pronounce that. And you've got um, Lorraine, and you've also got some different characters here. We've got um, Doggin... I can't even pronounce these guys. Um, there's some different various and different chase ones as well. We've also got a Commander, and we've also got a Igonsaurus, and then we've also got a Da. Honestly, um... This is, again, the issue with these kind of things of, I don't know these characters, I don't know how it's pronounced, I don't know what the movie's about. So therefore, these kind of figures instantly jump out to me as going, okay, okay whatever. Um, when the movie comes out, these things will make a lot more sense, and depending on how popular that movie is, will depend on how popular these pop vinyls are. Um, from first, 
um, look, I be honest, doesn't really jump out at me. But again, it really depends on how that movie comes out and how well it gets received. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones you like, which ones you didn't like. I'd like to know all of your thoughts. You can get in touch with us on all the different social medias. You can also like and follow us on the audio versions, which you can find over on the Apple. You can also find um, us on the video versions on YouTube. You can also find us over at VidMe. And thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out both websites, DizKingdom.com and PopBundles.com. And I shall see you guys in a later episode. Laters.